Cardiologists told what happens in the body when quitting smoking. Good afternoon dear viewer. The most useful and interesting information just for you. I wish you all goodness, happiness, love and a peaceful sky. So let's go. The changes that occur in the body after quitting smoking have been studied in detail by cardiologists and help to correctly assess the prospects for their health. Everyone knows about the dangers of smoking, and many have even repeatedly tried to quit smoking. Smoking leads to numerous health problems and even death. Cardiologists explain what changes in the body of a person who quits smoking. Cardiologist Elena Prokopovich listed all the changes in the body literally from the first day of giving up cigarettes. After 20 minutes from the last cigarette smoked, the pulse and blood pressure will normalize. Vessels will begin to dilate, hands and feet will become warm. After two hours, the craving for cigarettes appears, which is caused by a decrease in the level of dopamine, the hormone of joy. This increases the amount of oxygen, which reduces the risk of heart attack or coronary heart disease. Within the next 24 hours, a cough appears. The body begins to cleanse the lungs of harmful substances. After 48 hours, taste buds begin to recover, which makes food tastier. After 72 hours, there are acute signs of smoking withdrawal. Severe headache, nausea, depression or anxiety appear. At this point it is important to make every effort and just endure these unpleasant moments. After a month, the risk of diabetes is significantly reduced. The body increases the level of good antithyrogenic lipids that protect the heart and blood vessels, reduces the risk of lung cancer. After three to four months, the cilia in the lungs begin to function fully. They were previously paralyzed by nicotine, so the body was sufficiently protected from colds. A year after quitting smoking, the risks of cardiovascular disorders and heart disease are reduced by at least half. The same prospects for reducing the risk of lung cancer. Rich countries health, poor, death, how the world is struggling with electronic cigarettes. E-cigarettes were originally considered a less dangerous alternative to traditional cigarettes, but more and more studies have recently found that they, especially flavored e-cigarettes, are just as harmful to health if not more so. According to the World Health Organization, smoking tobacco is prevalent among the poorest segments of the population and among low-income countries. And this, in turn, worsens their economic and social situation even more. Of the world's 1.3 billion smokers, about 80% live in low- and middle-income countries, and nearly 226 million live below the poverty line. Smoking exacerbates poverty because people spend part of their budget to buy cigarettes. They could use that money to meet basic needs, buying food, paying for housing, and educating themselves or their children. In Bangladesh, 10.5 million people could eat better with the money they spend on tobacco. In this country, families of smokers spend 10 times more money on tobacco than on education. In Bombay, India, Homeless people spend far more money on tobacco than they do on food and other needs. In Niger, 40% of a student or worker's earnings are spent on cigarettes, says Douglas Betcher, former head of the WHO Tobacco Control Initiative. In addition to health damage, smoking tobacco causes economic losses in the form of healthcare costs associated with treating diseases caused by tobacco use. The deadly impact of the tobacco industry costs the global economy more than $1 trillion annually in healthcare costs. About 5 billion people now live in countries that have imposed restrictions on smoking, either medical warnings on cigarette packages, increased excise taxes, advertising bans and so on. The rate at which anti-tobacco measures have spread in these countries varies with 59 countries having never introduced any anti-tobacco measures at the highest level as of 2019. A new report from the World Health Organization shows that some measures to regulate the market for tobacco products do not address new types of smoking products like e-cigarettes, vape machines and other devices. These products are often marketed to children and teens by tobacco companies using thousands of different attractive flavors and claims that mislead smokers into thinking such products are less harmful. As a result, the WHO has expressed concern about the mass consumption of e-cigarettes, vapes, echoes and glow, especially among young people. 
Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe, like, leave your comments. I wish you all love, happiness, kindness and a peaceful sky.